Hi, welcome to Art Notes. I'm gonna begin with a cold erase pencil. With it, I'm gonna sketch the main pose and this is gonna be the starting point for the next poses. For the main pose, I normally base it on a real picture. All the other poses are just gonna be adapt to this main pose that I create. For the next pose, I'm trying not to overthink it that much. And instead, I'm just adapting it to the pose that is already existing. The trick is to think about the negative spaces the shapes are giving you and make them into a new pose. Don't be afraid of creating non-realistic drawings. The point for this exercise is just to think outside of your safe zone. For the next step, I will use watercolors, but starting by just painting around the eyes. With these, I avoid messing them once I start painting the rest of the body. Now I will use a diagonal tip brush to paint all of the bodies. This one is nice because it allows me to create thin strokes and very thick ones as well. This may not make sense, but I let the brush guide me. With watercolors, it is very common to feel afraid of it, but I like to work around the messiness of it. As you can see, I am using again the diagonal brush. I am mixing colors to create more texture on the body. Now, a fine brush. I use this one for very fine details like the noses and all the eyes. Put a piece of paper so you don't mess your drawing. Don't be afraid of trying this brush, it is just a matter of practice if you really want to get good at it. I will add some final details to define the faces and the outlines of the foxes, and for this I will use again a cold erase pencil. Once it is on Photoshop, I tweak the levels and with a white brush I clean a bit the inside of the eyes so they read better. This is the final result. 
And here are a few samples I created with the same thinking behind it. I hope you learned something in today's episode. You can let me know down in the comments.